strangers. I know I've been talking about this a lot in my last couple of videos, but today I'm going to talk about work drama again. Hooray! So a couple weeks ago I mentioned that we had hired some new people and that we were training them up and hopefully we'd get back to normal schedules for everybody because we had hired the new people. Well, that's not happening now because one of the new people that we hired quit today after getting told off for being late multiple times and also pretty much no call no showing for one day. Um, there's a little bit more behind that, but basically she got told off and said, F you, I quit. And then the other girl that we have who's still currently employed with us keeps disappearing for like 30 minute long stretches of time during her shifts and we don't know what she's doing we think she's just going and talking to people on her phone but we really don't know she just keeps disappearing so she's probably not going to be with us long but um yeah let me go into a little bit more detail about the uh, the final straw with the uh, the girl who quit today because uh it's a doozy so I was off yesterday. I learned all of this through word of mouth when I came in to work today. But um, to start this off, last Tuesday, or this past Tuesday, um, she uh, was supposed to come in at 11 to relieve me of my shift, and she didn't show up. So about 11.30, I try calling my boss to get her phone number give her a call and no answer so every about 15 minutes I keep trying to call I'm texting my manager the whole time this is going on she's been trying to call and finally around 12:30 ish I get a text from my boss saying hey your uh, co-worker is coming in he'll cover the shift and we'll figure out what she's doing or what's up with her in the morning so, he comes in, I leave about 1 o'clock, come home, go to bed, go back to work the next day. She's given them an excuse, something about, I don't even remember, but she's given them an excuse. They've accepted it, and she is, and she comes in and relieves me on Wednesday, and I go home. So, then, I'm off yesterday. Well, apparently... She showed up, and my coworker, who was working the 3 to 11, um, does the shift change, everything, and leaves. He has just enough time to get home, which is about 20, maybe 30 minutes. Um, probably closer to 20. And then he gets a call from her saying that she can't do the shift, and she needs him to come back. Well... He uh, he calls our manager. Our manager share says, "I'll go cover if you can't, but I also have to be be there in the morning for a meeting. So if you can, I'm so super sorry, but can you do that double?" And he said, "Sure." So he goes back, and she leaves, and he ends up working sixteen hours, pretty much minus that little bit of time when he that hour that he had driving back and forth and then going home getting some sleep and coming back tonight to relieve me at 11 like he was scheduled normally so that in and of itself is already pretty bad then our manager calls and starts asking her about what's up why do you keep um missing work or why do you keep calling out and all this other stuff and she gets some BS excuse about oh I'm on this new medicine that makes me super tired which okay not super BS except for the fact that you could have given us a heads up about that you know before we went through all this time training you for a night audit shift because you haven't said a word the entire time we trained you and it wasn't until after we were done training you and you're on your own that you start pulling this stuff. So, yeah, BS. Um, so my manager tells her off about that. Says, look, you can't be doing that. I'm going to give you a write-up because this is the third time this kind of thing's happened. 
if it happens again, we'll have to let you go. And she basically says, F you, I quit. So now we're down a night auditor. And we're probably going to be down uh, one, our swing shift person, who's literally the person who's supposed to cover myself and my coworker, who are the two full time employees, so that we can have two days off. So she's. The, the one girl's gone, second girl's on her last chance, we'll see how she does tomorrow morning, or technically this morning, because I'm filming this at like 1am, but anyway, we'll see how she does in the morning, because um, she's there from 7 to 10 without anybody else there before the manager comes in on her first shift alone, so we will see how that goes. Um, but if she doesn't do well, then we're probably out her. And there goes everybody except for our one new night audit person who's actually doing her job and was willing to, like, ask questions and learn and do everything that we needed her to do. Um, so that's my last week in a nutshell. I have spent the last month training these people thinking, hey, I'm finally going to get a break once these guys are done training. And now it looks like I'm not getting that break anytime soon. I do promise to have a uh, much more exciting video for next week. I'm going to be going to Bush Gardens on my day off, even if I don't have to. And I'll see you guys next week.